So welcome back. In the last video, we have talked about we have talked about uh, annotations, how to use annotations. So these are some pre-built annotations available in Java, right? But what if you want to create your own annotations? So what we can do is just to explain that. Let me remove this part here. In fact, let me remove everything from here except this main method. Just remove all this thing. So let's try to understand how to use annotations. So basically when you talk about annotations, so we can use annotations on class, we can use annotations on methods, and we can use annotations on, on variables, right? Or you can say fields. So if, if you want to create your own annotation, so let me take an example here just to show you demonstration here. So just to give you the glimpse of how to create your own, own annotation, let me create a class here. And I will call this class as Nokia a series now as you know that nokia is not into that market of mobile phones in fact uh, uh, they don't have their good smartphones now so we used to have so at one time nokia was damn famous you know every phone was nokia phone so we used to have those torch phones we used to have those symbian phones we used to have uh, those cord uh, so those those phones where where you have keyboards so in the center we used to have the screen and on the right right hand side and the left hand side used to have the keyboard it's more like a joystick if i don't i don't remember the series name i guess nokia cord or q series if i'm not wrong but so nokia is very famous in that uh, in that terms but when it comes to smartphone uh, nokia chose to work with i mean to use windows os and then they lost everything so that, that, that's a different thing, right? So Nokia, let's say Nokia is coming with a new series called as A-series phones. And just to call themselves as a smartphone now, they need something real. So they need an Android OS to call themselves as, as, as a smartphone, right? We, I mean, I don't prefer Windows phones as smartphones. Uh, but let's say we, they are going for Android phones now. Now just to specify that this is an Android phone, we can have, we can add an annotations here. So we can say add smartphone so if you say it's a smartphone so if you assign a annotation which is add smartphone now this class becomes a smartphone but hold on what is smartphone this is an annotation can you see that we are writing writing at the rate so that means that's an annotation and we are creating our own annotation here now question is how do we create annotation it's very simple so just to create your own annotation simply use at the rate uh, we can call it as uh, Okay, so we have to use a keyword called as interface. So we have to use add the rate interface. So this defines that you are creating your own annotation. And we can we can use a name, we can say this is a smartphone annotation. So this is how we use annotation and this is how we create annotation. So to create annotation, we have to use at interface smartphone. So this is an annotation in which you don't have any variable. Can you see that we don't have any variable here? So this type of annotation where you don't have any variable will be called as a, a marker annotation. So annotations which doesn't have any value inside it will be called as marker interface. But let's say I want to create one, one value here. So if I say it will have a string OS name that's how we create that's how we create a field so we'll say string os now this this has one field or one value so this will be called as single value annotation so when you have one it will be called a single value okay uh, we can have multi value so let's say i will say this is int and it would be version in fact, uh, it's better to write it in a small characters. Well, that will be better, right? So we'll say this is version, and we'll give a, we'll give a round brackets and a semicolon. Okay, so now this is this has two values, right? So this will be called as multi-value annotation. So if you have if you don't have any value, it will be called as marker interface, a uh, marker annotation. Yeah, it, it is same like marker interface anyway. Uh, if you have only one value, it will be called as single value annotation. It will be having multiple values. It will be called as multi-value annotations. Now, how to specify the values to it? So in the smartphone, so when you are using the annotation, just give a round packet and specify OS is equal to Android. And you can specify a value. I mean, you can specify the version and you can say this is version 6, which is Marshmallow. 
right? So we are using a smartphone and it has an OS which is Android and it has a version which is 6. So this is a Nokia phone now and we can call it a smartphone because it has annotation with a smartphone. If you don't provide this annotation, then you cannot call this as a smartphone now. So by specifying the annotation, we are saying that this is a smartphone. Okay. Now, uh, so what if you don't specify the values? If you don't specify the values, you can you can write, okay, so if I remove that, if I don't specify the value, we can use something called as default values here. So by default, it would be uh, Android. Oh, we'll say by default, it will be Symbian. If, uh, I forgot the spelling of Symbian, maybe this one. And we can say default, let's say zero. So the, the default version will be, let's say one. Zero will be not good, right? So if you don't specify the values here, it would be this values, Symbian and one. But let me just specify the value. And so if you specify the value, it will override the existing value. Okay. Now, uh, so that's how we create our own annotation. And that's how you can use your own annotation. But hold on, how do we fetch those values in the main class? That will say in the next video. Thank you so much. If you liked this video, please click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos.